Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Wednesday, May 5th. Well, yesterday we were talking about that $17.4 million federal stimulus uh, grant or monies that were going to be used to uh, repair or add to uh, the MBTA line uh, over in Haverhill. Well, today we got a real life example of why that is needed. We had a 69 car train that was stopped on that 16 mile uh, of stretch of train track. Uh, that completely halted uh, service, MBTA service, uh, from Haverhill today. In fact, they had to bus uh, people from Andover to Haverhill. Well, if you live in Haverhill and there's a certain section of the city that you think deserves to be cleaned up or needs some attention, uh, this is your chance. We have a story online today and in today's paper about the city encouraging residents to call in with areas that they think need to be cleaned up. Now, what they're using is uh, prisoner work crews from the House of Corrections and uh, people who have been given community service from the courthouse. Now, according to the city, uh, the city is getting between $104,000 and $156,000 a year in free labor from uh, these folks. Now, if you do have an idea for where to direct some of these crews, I've got the number for the highway department printed uh, right on the video here. You can uh, give them a call directly. Now, according to the city, there's about two or 300 hours a week that they're utilizing from these crews. So, uh, quite a service uh, to the city uh, that, uh, according to, uh, to city officials, uh, only cost them uh, the price of a muffin and a cup of coffee. Now, if you're taking a walk around our website today on the Boston and Beyond category, we've got a story about Governor Patrick, who's uh, taken a rare shot at uh, his uh, rival, uh, uh, Republican uh, Charlie Baker, uh, basically saying that, uh, suggesting that perhaps uh, Baker is lacking integrity. And this is kind of unusual for the governor uh, to actually uh, sort of go on an attack mode. A lot of times he leaves that to uh, Lieutenant Governor Murray. Uh, so you want to check that story out. And in our world national uh, category this week on that tab down there, uh, you'll find the bizarre story of a uh, police who uh, busted up what they thought was a robbery in New York, which actually turned out to be a film crew shooting a robbery in a convenience store. And uh, uh, the most interesting part of the story is probably where the director uh, says he's sitting there and he suddenly watches all these police officers uh, storm into the scene and he's thinking, uh, you know, I wrote this movie. I don't remember this uh, being in there. So. Uh, check out that story. Uh, officials say it actually was a potentially a very dangerous situation when police came in. Uh, the actor uh, had a gun in his hand. Uh, they demanded he put it down. Uh, in the end, nobody was hurt. Just a reminder, as always, you can find all these stories and a lot more at eagletribune.com right now.